This is a profile of Australia's festival city, Adelaide, framed by broad parks. The story of Flower Day, of a city garlanded by flowers. South Australia's capital, planned for the enjoyment of leisure. On Flower Day, millions of blooms come from home gardens of the Adelaide Plains. Or homes climbing the foothills of the Mount Lofty Ranges, backdrop to the city. and from the west, where suburbs meet the sea. Flowers for the teacher, a day of mass softening up at schools all over the metropolis. Mums are there to give a helping hand. And Flower Day is on the way. Busy hands arrange flowers in city streets on the terraced wall by King William Road. And along North Terrace. In Victoria Square. By evening, everything is peaceful, waiting for the day to come. One of Adelaide's mad March days, in festival time, with a welcome to visitors and performers said with flowers. Marcella Reale, to star in the opera Tannhäuser. Flowers for Morag Beaton, another star of the opera. The Elizabethan Theatre Trust Orchestra arrives. Marlena Dietrich has carried glamour over generations, and especially for this festival, over thousands of miles. Lucero Tena, famous Spanish dancer and brilliant castanet player. Welcome to a city ready for two full weeks of enjoyment, Adelaide, bedecked for its biennial Festival of Arts. Barangay dancers from Manila attend the coronation of the Queen of Flowers. A charming lass is chosen and speaks with all the aplomb of a reigning monarch. The newly crowned queen and her retinue of flower girls proceed through the city scattering blooms.
On North Terrace, a carpet made from thousands and thousands of blooms, a flower day tradition. This year, a Persian carpet. Oh, blimey, did I say North Terrace or Coronation Street? It's Ina Sharples, but where's Minnie? Crowds gather to admire the displays. Venus, hmm, better settle for a head study. At Victoria Square today, Holland is just a few steps from Australia. New Holland on early maps. Sydney completed in a day. Children see their flowers transformed to nursery tales. Now, let's enter the quiet of the art gallery, where in peaceful surroundings, we can view many exhibitions especially arranged for the festival. Here there are views and views, and decided views. But in the courtyard, quiet reigns, and reflections are peaceful. The festival is held during vintage, a wonderful time for dining al fresco, beneath vines with wines. Early autumn, the evenings are mild enough for beer in a garden before gathering for entertainment. A torchlight procession to set the city afire. International night, Adelaide people from many countries in the dances of their homelands. Alten 
Stiel, da staunt das ganze Hans Lokal. Hoch das Bein, ja das ist fein, drum wollen wir noch ein. And just a guitar strum away, the fire of the Spanish gypsies, flamenco, the passion of the canter, the rhythm of the castanets. Troubadours in King William Street. Tamas Haki, Hungarian whistling virtuoso with his happy band of minstrels. The beautiful Adelaide skyline with an exotic foreground, the supple barangay folk dancers from the Philippines. say let's be formal let's go social and look in on a garden party meet the people and mix with the flowers again It's been a pleasant day, National Flower Day. We've seen millions of blooms and some snippets from a varied festival program of music, theatre, art, opera and dance. <laughs> <laughs> 